Do you guys know what game just came out today? Well, I guess it'll be yesterday for you guys. Time's weird on YouTube. Herval Space Program 2. Early access. Somehow, I got approved for a free key. So yeah, I'm checking out this game with free key, blah, 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 all that good stuff. What is this? Why do I have to do things? I don't want that. No, what it just play. What is going on? All right, so yeah, I never played the first Kerbal, but I like the idea of green little bouncy aliens. I've seen the smallest amount of Kerbal stuff. I like the idea of strapping together rockets and blowing stuff up. What is going on? Chill. Why? Maybe I should have done this beforehand. There's an end user license agreement, warranties, all this good stuff. Don't care. I have to scroll through it all. All right. I don't even know, is this like a sandbox game or is it like campaign? Look, we got a little green Kerbal. Let's do this. What? Start new campaign. We are difficulty extreme. Let's just go with normal. Normally, I like going with like extreme, but there aren't like enemies in this game. So I'm guessing this just has to do with like money, maybe? I don't know. LTG. That's what we're going with. We'll keep that. I can set colors and a flag. Um, I kind of like this, but I want different colors. We could change it to... Oh, it doesn't actually change those colors. Make this kind of an orangish. Let's go with right there. I like... That's a little bit too green. Go back. More blue. Right there. Perfect. Start campaign. Let's go. I don't know how much Kerbal I'm going to play. Because I feel like... I'm going to be painfully slow at this game. But who knows if people want to watch it. To me, it's just exciting that I finally got approved for to check out a game that is like a mainstream, like real game. I like indie games. What is going on? Why is it so laggy? Your new space program leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kind, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. The volume is way too low for you guys. We're skipping that. Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Center. This campus has everything you need to turn your fledgling space program into the stuff of legends. Thanks, Paige. Engineers, they created a training pro. We don't need that. We're Kerbals. Training program. Oh, crap. Maybe I need that. What? We got a VAB. That is a ve vehicle assembly building. That's where I want to be. Sweet. SpaceX feeling. We got three little Kerbals. Okay, the game feels super laggy. I think I broke things. Hello? My computer's been l running like crap, so I don't know how much is because it's an early access game and how much is because my computer's running like crap. I'm gonna pause and try closing stuff. We're back. All right, hopefully it'll run a little bit smoother now. Welcome to the Vehicle Assembly Building. The VAB, or VAB, okay, they just read this is where you assemble vehicles to take you wherever you want to go i want to go to mars this is the parts picker you take pieces from the parts picker throw them on the workspace we want methylox methylox is the one that spacex uses because you can get methane from mars i wonder if the first game used methylox because I don't think it's the most efficient. But from what I've read... Here, we're just going to hit continue. 
it produces a lot less soot and like kerosene. So it makes rockets so that they're more easy to be cleaned up after a mission and reused. All right, we need the tin can. Let's do it. How do I move you? Bam. We want medium. Bam. Why wouldn't I just go large if I'm going to get multiple mediums? Um, two tons of methylox, four tons of methylox mass. The mass is... So there's no advantage to one of these versus two of these. Where is my money? Do we have unlimited money? Possibly. Okay, so Terrier is just straight vertical up and down. Swivel. Mass is a lot more. This gives... Why does a swivel give more thrust? Huh. This gives over three times the thrust. So for taking off, I think this is what we want. Solid fuel booster. Wait, wait, wait. 3.56 tons. Where's its thrust? Max thrust vacuum. Max thrust atmosphere. 200 kilonewtons. Is that what KN stands for? Maybe. Why would I ever want solid fuel? Because it doesn't require a tank. The tank is built in. I'm going to have to look at these things so much. Okay, so this plus this equals 3.6... Five. This is a little bit lower. 2.81 tons. Two tons. Okay, so the solid... This is probably better if I'm not trying to, like, maneuver around in space or land back down. Dactycoupler. That would be if I want to do a multi-stage rocket. Nose cone. Rounder than the counterparts, but no less effective at shoving the annoying atmosphere aside during flight. Radial decoupler. Okay. I can give my ship boobs. Yes, I am very mature. Parachute. No, I don't want any of that. Okay. Nap. Symmetry mode. Launch! That does not look like my ship. We don't need pointers. We're ready to f fly with Bill Kerman. Oh no! Oh no! Go back in! Bill. Bill is outside the ship. Bill. Bill. Chill. Chill, Bill. I don't want to do... It was telling me about an EVA and I just clicked it away. Let's go. Board B. I'm so good. Okay. G-Force. Zero. We can survive 15 Gs? Puny humans. Go. Skip countdown. I'm afraid to click much. Sweet. My computer is not set up for this. I should like lower my graphics. I've been thinking about upgrading my computer. Okay, so ground altitude. Where's my fuel at? Atmosphere. Vertical speed. This looks like fuel. Liquid fuel oxygen. We're full thrust? How do I see my thrust? I don't know how to see any of this. I could speed things up. That seems terrible. Look at that. We're getting a little bit of red glow. Where are we in the... I 
don't know my atmosphere. Okay, we're about to leave lower atmosphere, I think. We're pretty much out of lower atmosphere. Am I trying to get into space? Bill. We didn't... I'm sorry, Bill. The plan was not... ...to come back. Look at the G-forces. We're up there. We're somewhere between 0 and 15. Bill is loving love. What if I click EVA? Okay. I was just gonna say I should try tilting. Okay, the engine does tilt. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, vertical surface velocity. That's like not up and down. I think we're gonna make it into space. I was gonna say, if we don't make it into space, we're just gonna come right back down. How are the music levels? They look maybe a little bit quiet, but it sounds good in my headphones. Okay. Anti-normal. Retrograde. That's in reverse. Prograde. That's forward. Radial out. Radial in. And normal. Anti-normal. Okay, so these are like the six... Forces on a three-dimensional object? I don't know. Something. Was there, like, a tiny little air engine that I could have got? Altitude's still going up. I'm wondering if I will fall back down to Earth eventually. It looks like I'm far enough out of the atmosphere that I should just stay up there forever. Not forever, but for, like, a long time years yeah I might have actually escaped earth completely to where we'll just continue onwards forever at this point that's it Bill I hope you brought snacks you're experiencing no gravity right now oh look at that we got a super laggy planet view. That's hitting M. Oh no! What is going on? Oh wait, what is this? This is Kerbin. We're still... Rising, so I have to be somewhere on this path, I think, but the path is quickly... Oh, this is me! I'm approaching... How do I say that? I'm approaching... I'm gonna say that so wrong. Oh, I need to mute my phone, too. Apoasis. Give me the pronunciation back. Apo ap apsis. Apoapsis. Yeah. I'm going to reach it in 57 seconds, and then afterwards it's all downhill. The good news is, it looks like we're gonna land. Land might be the wrong word. In the water. What happens if I click? Oh god. Yeah. Oh no. How do I get back out of here? Hit M. Oh no. That does not look like water. Mistakes. Mistakes may have been made. I'm sure none of those matter. Bill! Problematic. Vessel launched. Look, we crashed. Okay, vessel destroyed. Mission time, 12 minutes, 15 seconds. It feels like it was longer than that. We reached 135 
kilometers. It doesn't seem that high. Okay, that seems like a lot of speed. Highest overland speed. Highest speed overall. I don't know what the difference is all the way. We traveled 66 kilometers. I'm guessing that means horizontally. Because vertically we traveled more than that. What? Highest G-Force experience. 341.8. That must have been when we made landfall. It never hurts to brush up. No, chill. Bill, you will be remembered. Okay. Let's go back here. I could launch again. What if we try for something more ambitious? My computer needs upgrading. That's going to bug me a little bit, playing this game. I've been looking for excuses to upgrade. I'm pressing buttons. How did I get inside? There we go. What is all this? Wait, wait, wait. What was favorites? Do I really just have unlimited funds? I probably should have read some of the things. Mark 1, tin can. Mark 1 3, gumball. Three seat, single seat. Do I even have a Kerbal at this point? Have I killed them all? Nah. Nah, we're good. Four seat lander can. Cockatoo, five seat. Okay, I think we stick with our tin can. Delete. This time. What? You could get probes. Okay, I want to be able to land back down this time. In order to land back down. Methyl ox fuel tank. 0.085 tons. Donut. External. What do you look like? Huh. Yeah. Two tons. Small methyl ox fuel by couple. There's so many things here. Oh, this one is really tiny. I feel like in order to justify an engine, I have to use at least, like, something. Twitch. Ooh. Terrier. That was the one that I just used, I think. ISP. What does ISP stand for? Beyond... Internet service provider. Hmm. Okay. No, that's not what I just used. I used a swivel one. I used this guy. Totally used that. It was a good engine. Thud. Thud. It's interesting. Dart. Wait, wait, wait. Holy crap. Arrow spike. I kind of just want to play with engines. This one looks crazy. What is that ISP? I need to find out what ISP means. So you weigh two tons, you weigh one ton. Your thrust is half of this arrow spike just sounds awesome. These things are massive. Yeah, that one's a mammoth. Here, we're gonna place you there. 
I want to be able to land back down. To land back down, we're going to get a one-ton tank. Bam. We're going to get a swivel. Smallest swivel I can get. Wait. This swivel just seems better than this one. First stage of your rock rocket. Do I need, like, landing gear to be able to land back down? I need a parachute. Huh. Okay. Payloads? Coupling. I want coupling. Stack to coupler. Oh, that is cool. Payloads. Structures. I already got an engine. How do I... There we go. Why wouldn't I just take the big one? This isn't going to work at all. I need some way to be able to direct side to side, I think. Twitch feels like it could do that. We want radial sim symmetry. Two doesn't seem like enough, but three actually seems like it could do everything I need it to. These are on the side of the tank. Aerodynamics would also work in place of these. I think. Bam. Hit launch. Let's go. We still have Bill. I don't know how we still have Bill. I'm not going to ask questions. Look at all of these green bars. Liquid engines. Three. Hit go. Skip countdown. Let's do this. Oh no. No, I need you to thrust. I'm hitting spacebar. Look, we can correct because I have three. This is amazing. We have tons of fuel. The game feels like it's struggling. Or my computer feels like it's struggling. Bill! You're not even experiencing that many Gs. We're 300 meters off the ground. Look at all this fuel. I still have one more fuel tank that I'm not using, right? I'm not using this fuel tank right now, am I? I feel like I am using that fuel tank right now. Because I don't see one tank that's not going down. Okay, once I leave the atmosphere, I think I actually want to cut towards the right, maybe, because there's ocean there. And because in order to get into orbit, I think that's just what we want to do. Really, I want to turn off these three little ones, because I don't know if they're, like, efficient. But I don't know which ones those are. These? How do I turn you off? Screw it. I need those three attached to radial couplers so that I could just jettison them right now. Except I do want to turn sideways. The arrow spike is working. We're about to leave lower earth. No, not Earth. Lower Kerbin Atmosphere. I kind of want to turn to the left because I'm already facing to the left. Oh. Nah, we're going over the water. Okay, let's do it. Slowly. 
There's something with that. Wait, no, it's trying to autocorrect. Turn off the stability assist program. No, stop trying to correct. Okay, my fuel's getting a little bit low. I just realized I don't actually know how to trigger that decoupling. What is RCS? Reaction control. This is me going full to the right. Vessel resources. I have power and I have MP magic points. Parts manager. Wait, coupling. We've done it. Decouple. Fuel cross feed. Hopefully I'm not actually using up the fuel, but we're going to find out. Once I run out. Okay, I did manage to turn sideways a little bit. Okay. Just as I'm running out of fuel. Okay, now if I hit M. I probably should have hit M earlier. So we're still climbing. Look at that, we're gonna land out in the ocean. My Apoasis, Apoapsis, is 68. How is it decreasing? Because I'm decelerating. Okay. Hit him again. So now, I can't actually change. I can. How am I able to rotate right and left without any engines? I don't know. Okay, come to coupling. Okay. Oh, that makes me happy. Okay. Keep saying okay. If I look at my fuel tanks, where are they? Did I drain this tank? I feel like I did. Oh, I did not. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. How do I turn it off? Engines. No, I didn't mean to turn it on. Deactivate. Thank you. I actually think I could get into orbit right now. Okay, to get into orbit, all I'd have to do is blast sideways, I think. New game plan. I wish I could see... Oh, there's my fuel. I don't have that much. Hurrah! What am I doing? Activate. This is not a good view for trying to... How much fuel? We don't have enough fuel. Crap. It's so close. Is that... That's where we launched from. Now, I didn't pack a parachute. I thought about packing a stupid parachute. Mistakes have been made. Bill! How do you feel... about a water landing? Okay, so we have map view. What is this view? Tracking station. How does that differ from map? Get out of here. Destroy. I safe one. Flight situation. We are suborbital. I did not get to orbit. Wait, how do I have power stored? Delta V remaining. That's a number. Cool. Crew. Bill. Okay. Map view. Interesting. I could have solar? Solar would be helpful. Do they have, like, ion drives with solar? I wonder if they have nuclear drives. 
Okay, so if I had another decoupler, I could lose this engine, which wouldn't do much. And I could lose the fuel tank, and then I could just have the parachute and, like, a heat shield. And I could try and burn off my speed by facing the back of... Maybe this has a heat shield built into the bottom of it. Parachute up here. Okay, if we look... I'm just slowly rotating in space. No! Gravity is pulling me down. No, I'm just free rotating. With the parachute up top, though, I would face bottom down. Would it ever make sense to have the parachute at the bottom and have the nose cone face downward as I come down. That wouldn't create as much aerodynamic braking or whatever in the atmosphere, but it would give a larger surface area to dissipate the heat than a completely flat... I don't know. In my head, there are benefits to both directions. It just depends if I need to shed more speed, which it looks like I do. My velocity is high. So the question is, once I reach this middle atmosphere, will I start to burn up this engine? I would expect lower atmosphere to like completely burn things up as I re-enter. But I should shed heat or er, shed speed. Never mind. Oh. It didn't start burning up my ship like at all. Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. Okay, how do I get back? Delayed splash. I forget how to get back to my place. The agency. Revert to VAB. This is why Bill is still alive. I'm cheating. I'm reverting. I'm not... Don't revert. I needed to just go to the VAB. Now, Bill is dead. Probably. Dude can survive 15 Gs. He might have survived. No, that's like 300 Gs. It was a water landing. Yeah, Bill's dead. Okay, I still don't know how to get this screen. Okay. Wait, if I hit launch, nothing to launch. If I resume the game, take this, bam, launch. I just want to see if I get a new Kerbal. Bob, Bill's poor brother. All right, how do I go back? Go back. Right here, the VAB. Babbing sounds like dabbing. I don't know. Something. My computer. Okay. I want to play more of this. This might be painful to watch, though. Or I might need to upgrade my PC at the very least. I want to try and get to, like, some place. First, I want to try to get to orbit. Then I want to try and get to another, to the moon, to whatever. I want to do these things. I want to make some crazy cool ship. All right, so yeah, if anyone's interested in watching me struggle through Kerbal, then like and comment and subscribe. I'm getting closer to a thousand subscribers, which would feel awesome. But yeah, give me feedback. Let me know how bad this was to watch because I'm enjoying playing it. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good one.